Hi everyone. Today I wanted to have a quick chat with you about the types of things you can do at home to boost your skincare and possibly even prep uh, your skin for those professional treatments you might be wanting to come in and have over winter. So one of the easiest things you can do at home uh, is use a serum. So we've got lots of different types of serums here. Um, these ones are based on say a vitamin A or a B or a C and they've got some extra ingredients in there and they're quite high end so they're formulated to be absorbed quite well into the skin and to be very active. So with serums it really is a case of you get what you pay for. So if you go and buy a $10 serum from the pharmacy, yes it might have an equi equivalent percentage but um, has it been formulated so that your skin will utilize it in the best way possible and you're going to get all those added benefits? Um, is the actual ingredient itself top quality or is it really not a, a great grade? So if you're going to go to the trouble of putting on your serums and, and that effort, then really I would hope that you'd want to get the most benefit that you can out of it. Uh, this one here is quite a popular one. This is called the Multi B Serum from Skin02. So it's quite effective for uh, teens, particularly with a little bit of acne, or um, even people in their mid 40s that just want to give their skin a, a refresh uh, without a huge um, price tag so and it's really easy to use at night but this one we usually say we wouldn't recommend it for pregnant ladies so when you're trying to pick a serum you need to pick choose what the condition is that you're trying to deal with it might be pigmentation there might be some lines there you might be like like I said before prepping your skin for a professional treatment so really if you go and try and choose a serum yourself, you might be wasting your money. So please, please, please ask for advice. I'm more than happy to help you out there. Or review exactly what you've got in the cupboard already. There might be something at home that I can um, advise on to you slightly in a different way. And then you might be getting the full benefit out of what you've got. Mm -hmm. So when you use your serums, sometimes it helps to massage them in. So you can get massage tools, you can get all sorts of things. These are Kanza ones, they're from the Ore range. Um, you can get jade rollers in the shops, you can get special types of stones, crystals, you can even just use your hands if that's something you want to do. So when you're popping on your serums, give yourself a minute or so to really work that in and warm up the skin. Now one of the other things you could consider doing at home is home rolling. Okay, I'm going to get a roller and show you what you can do with it. So this is an example of a home roller. So it doesn't penetrate to the depths that we would use for a professional treatment here in the studio and um, it also is a slightly different type of device to the one that we use in the studio. So it's not as scary as it sounds. It's quite simple to use. You simply roll it in a particular pattern over the skin and make very small little micro punches. It also helps exfoliate. So what's that going to do? That's actually going to help your serums penetrate when you put them on so that you get even more benefit out of them. Um, depending on where your pigmentation might be, it could be beneficial for that. So again, getting advice on the type of role of the depth and how to use it is really important. You might be on blood thinners, in which case we wouldn't recommend that you use that. So please, please ask for advice. So one thing to note, if you are going to take the step and use a serum or you're going to get yours back out of the cupboard and start using it again, Please make sure you've taken all your makeup off. So this is a, a beautiful bamboo face cloth. This is an exfoliant. So you need to make sure that you've cleansed all the redundant grime and dirt and skin cells off there so that 
these treatment products can do what they're meant to do. This one here from Aura is um, one of those little silicone brushes that you can use in the shower. So whatever it is, try to make it easy, try to have it in the shower so that it's not an extra step. We shouldn't have a 10 step process to cleansing our skin. It's really inconvenient unless that's something that you want to do, in which case I'm more than happy to show you how to do that. So lots of different options there. Um, please let me know if there's anything you need to know, any questions you have, and um, hopefully you can start on prepping your skin and giving it a little boost this winter.